From the time I was born, they force-fed me water. Such extreme quantities of it that I would overflow like a sentient fountain. My marble face carved into an expression of screaming, but no noise could escape my mouth, for I was only decorative. To men and to elders and to woman betrayers, I was a mere feature of a garden. And even now I can't seem to unhook myself from the system of stinky bore water that flows with or without my permission. I wish it could be fire. I've dreamed of shooting fire out of my mouth and summoning a blaze behind my eyes that could scare the mightiest of glass-blown men. So big and broad and breakable is he who was born from a 1,320 degree kiln and who looks down on me like I'm scum. Like I'm a wet slime he can't wash out of his cotton wife beater, no matter how many times his mother puts it through the washing machine. I know I could take a hammer and smash his fragile self into sharp and pretty pieces. It's even I could accomplish that with a limp swing of my delicate muscles, if I could just lift my arms. But all I can do is stare with salty water welling in my eyes because I was never taught about anger. I only ever sat on the other end of a man's temper. I only ever knew how that anger could make me freeze with my eyes wide and unblinking and the exact color of water. A hilarious and cruel joke for it only makes sense that all I know how to do is cry. And sometimes I relish in the crying. I humor it, I succumb to it, thinking that at some point I should surely reach the end of it. Perhaps I could dry myself out be so full of oxygen that I could finally burn the way that I've been yearning to. No longer could people move in and through me however they see fit, the way water shifts to make way for a body diving into its depths. No longer would I let them. Instead, I would burn a path in my wake. To ignore me would be to risk intercepting me. To touch me blithely would be to feel pain. So sick I am of men feeling like my opposite like the fire to my water, the hard to my soft. I want the heat and the roughness that was stamped out of me all my life. I want to reclaim the full spectrum of self-expression that was stolen from me. I want the hot breath of boisterous laughter and the lava of righteous anger. I want to reserve my tears for times of sadness. So perhaps I could exist as an ambiguous steam, hot and wet, a little more air to be flammable or a little more water to start pouring. But as I leak and I ooze and I drip, like plumbing that was installed when only straight white men were considered human, I realize that there must be a lake inside of me. And in these still deep waters, I drown. <laughs>